I had the great fortune to be talking to Martha Lip said to the civil rights advocate. So welcome, Marcy. Thank you, Liz. The first question is, what are civil rights? Well, civil rights are protections for individuals that have disabilities, for individuals um, who are minorities under uh, various religious beliefs, and they're governed by two federal civil rights laws. The first law is the uh, uh, Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, and then followed by the Americans with Disabilities Act that was originally signed in 1990 by President Bush. And those are our two federal civil rights laws. The first law prohibits discrimination for all institutions that receive federal funds. And the Americans with Disabilities Act takes the civil rights law further by prohibiting discrimination by employers and by public businesses. And to be clarify, to clarify, we're talking about the first bus, right? Correct. And what do you mean by discrimination? Well, so for example, um, I'm an advocate for children with disabilities during the school year. I, I, I live in school districts. And most people don't think about things like having accessibility on playgrounds. So children who are in wheelchairs, children who use a walker, children who use a cane, children who have visual impairments and need accessibility on playgrounds. So I have filed several playground accessibility complaints against school districts so that these playgrounds are accessible to all children. Okay, thank you. Can you share a little bit about your work around the civil rights? Sure, my, right, my work with civil rights began when I was nine years old and I had a, at the time, five-year-old sister who had been recently diagnosed with pretty severe learning disabilities and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and an anxiety disorder. And I became her early voice. We attended the same elementary school and my sister was very misunderstood and I was her voice. I was the one who fought for her. And then by high school, I was fighting for state and federal laws and rules, both for special education and for civil rights. And as an adult, that continued. And then my son was born. He's 29. My son has pretty complex special needs. I became his full-time advocate and an advocate for all children in the state of Michigan. I'm called by parents across our entire state. I'm actually called by parents in other states to assist with uh, both special education issues and with issues because of Section 504 and accommodations. Okay, thanks again, Marcy. Thank you, Liz. Hi, everyone. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please comment below.